Hey there, what's up? I hope you're staying safe. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air to read HDMI ports, SD cards, micro SD cards, and regular USB cables. Let's go. As you are very well aware of, especially if you own a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, uh, one of the newer ones from the previous years, I believe from like 2016 or 2017 till today, all MacBooks come with only USB Type-C slots. So as you can see here, these are the new USB-C slots that all of the MacBooks come with. So they don't come with regular USB ports anymore. You know, making it difficult to be able to connect cables, to connect your iPhone, to charge, or simply connect other devices that you wanna either transfer data into or out to and also they don't come with HDMI ports in case you want to connect it to maybe your TV or a bigger display but in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can easily resolve this issue this is the 15 inch MacBook Pro I believe the MacBook Air only has two on this side right here but the fact is that they only bring USB type C slots so what we're going to be using to be able to connect and read things like USB cables HDMI cables and SD cards is this little item right here and there's going to be a link in the description down below where you can get this USB type C hub reader so check that out and let me show you really quickly how it works so pretty much it brings two connections right here for USB type C slots and this is where it's gonna connect to your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro over here on this side it's gonna have a HDMI slot and this is to connect HDMI cable so that you can connect it to a bigger display or monitor or whatever it is that you want to view your MacBook on and then here on this side we're gonna have all of the different slots that we're going to to be using so we're gonna have two more USB type C slots so just like the ones that are being connected to so it's gonna have a micro SD card up here and here I have a micro SD card so you're just gonna place it in right here and push it in and the SD card will stick in there it also has a regular SD card slot under the micro SD slot so we can place a regular SD card in there as well this one will have to be placed backwards like this and it will go in there just like this it will stick out it's not gonna go in completely but it will read it perfectly Perfectly fine and then over here on this side we're gonna have a uh, USB 3.0 slots for faster USB charging and data transfer as well so uh, any regular USB cables will work and you'll be able to insert them right here so let me go ahead and show you how this connects to the actual MacBook now so all you are gonna have to do is like I said just connect the two USB type-c connections right here on the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. Connect it right there and just push it in until it clicks. Once it clicks, it's gonna look something like this. It actually looks pretty good because of the color. It blends in perfectly with your MacBook, especially if you have the space gray color. So it's gonna look like this. And as you can see right there, it is reading both the micro SD card and the SD card as well. If you wanna connect your iPhone to charge it or to maybe transfer data to or from your MacBook, connect the USB cable right there and your iPhone should connect right away as you can see it's already charging and let's go ahead now and connect it to the TV so we can test that out as well All right, everyone, so let me know down below in the comments what you think about this seven in one reader. There's gonna be a link in the description down below where you can get this as well, so check that out. So that is it for this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you got some value out of it, and that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.